Hello guys, welcome back to my flat. I am going to show you a really tasty treat. This is something I made a lot when my back was just getting better and I just needed a treat and I needed to cook. It's my recipe for French toast. Now everyone should have a recipe for French toast in their arsenal. And this one I'm going to give you is just enough for one, so you don't even have to share this. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what kind of bread to use for French toast, because a few people have different opinions about this. I found that my favourite is brioche, uh, which is this stuff. It's a, a French enriched dough, um, really soft and really absorbent of the liquid that we're going to use. Also, hull is really good. Um, hull is not quite as sweet as brioche, but it works just as well. You can use like regular white sliced bread. Um, make sure it's a little bit stale, otherwise it kind of falls apart. Um, but it's just, I, I find brioche just absorbs it all a bit nicer and it's soft and yummy just straight from the off. Uh, so brioche is what I'm using and the liquid part of it is, um, you know, a lot of people have different recipes as well. I found that I prefer it most when I kind of pack it full of spices. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, you can keep it really, really simple, but I'm gonna show you what I do. So I've already got two large free range eggs in a bowl and my bowl is kind of wide and slightly shallow and that's so that I can dip the bread nice and easily. To that I'm gonna add two tablespoons of double cream and then I'm gonna get my sugars on. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of caster sugar and one teaspoon of demerara sugar, and that's the kind of brown granulated stuff, and that's gonna also help it to kind of caramelize a little bit when we cook it later. Just a little bit more, why not? Uh, next, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. That's really, really important because you don't want to have a bland French toast. The salt will bring out all the other flavors. I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon an eighth of a teaspoon of mace, and if you're not sure what mace is, mace is like the part, another part of the nutmeg. So it's similar to nutmeg, but it's got a bit of a more subtle flavour, but because I love nutmeg, I'm also going to put about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, freshly grated, because that's the best way. And then last but not least, and I do think this is quite an important one, if you don't do any other spices, make sure you do put in about half a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract because that's going to make it taste all nice and custardy which is kind of the best part of a French toast in my opinion. So give that a really good whisk until it's all super well combined. Now if you are making this for yourself for breakfast or something and you're thinking gosh cream's a bit much in the morning <laughs> um, and you feel like you don't deserve it for some strange reason then you can substitute your double cream for milk, um, any like whole milk or even semi-skimmed if you don't want to go whole. Um, but I just like the luxuriousness of cream because why not, it's the weekend. Um, so let's cut some brioche. Now it's very important to make your brioche slices nice and thick so I like to do them about an inch thick. So now I'm ready to start cooking my very special breakfast. All right, so while I was mixing, I've been getting my pan to a kind of medium heat. Uh, you want to have it, I'm using a cast iron pan, just use a non-stick frying pan, whatever you do. And I've also got some butter and oil that's been mixed together. And I put the oil in just to help the butter, to pre prevent the butter from burning. If you have clarified butter in your fridge, that is the best stuff because that is, well, it just doesn't burn, it's great. Um, first thing to do is to soak your brioche with this lovely, lovely liquid. And I like to do it about 30 seconds on each side. So just pop it in and give it a wiggle around. And then when it's had its 30 seconds on one side, flip it over and do the other. And while it's soaking, pop some of the butter and oil mixture into your pan, which will be nice and hot. Ooh, yum. And that should do it. You don't want to leave it in for too long because brioche is quite soft and if you leave it in for too long, it'll just fall apart. But I reckon that's pretty good. So now I'll just pop it into the pan. Mm, and get on with soaking the other bit. Mm. 
So you need to cook them for between three and five minutes on both sides until they're nice and golden brown on the top. This is smelling really good. I can already smell all the spices and the vanilla. Mmm, it's gonna get even better though. So my top tip for your own luxurious plate of French toast is to get a pat of butter and put them in, put it in between, because that way it'll melt. And then obviously you've got it in the middle, but you want some on top too, right? So another bit of butter on the top. And I would like to finish mine off with a bit of fruit and the pièce de résistance. You have to have maple syrup with your French toast. I mean, you don't have to, but it's really tasty with maple syrup. We all deserve to treat ourselves to a bit of French toast every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is my absolute favorite recipe. Let's have a little bite. I mean, that is delicious. Something about the flavor of the brioche really, really goes so well with all those spices and the maple syrup and the butter, the river of butter that is currently forming in between my slices of French toast. Mm. This is so yummy. And if you want to share this with somebody, by all means double this recipe up, it, or triple it, quadruple it, however many people you think out there need French toast. Uh, but it's just a really nice thing to treat yourself to on a, on, a, on a weekend if you're, or not even on a weekend, any day, why not? It's, you know, Tuesday afternoon. It doesn't have to be a weekend. It doesn't even have to be breakfast. And you can have this as dessert with a bit of ice cream perhaps. So many things you can do. So please, please take your pictures. This French toast stack looks really cool. So make sure you get it on your Instagram feed. Use the hashtag Cupcake Gemma so that I can see it and drool over it. And I'll be back another time, probably next week. See ya.